Hi, I'm E.D. Lewis, and welcome back to my channel, E.D. Lewis Reviews, back with an all-new nocturnal review. Before we get started, make sure you hit that like, that subscribe, and that little bell so you'll get notifications on my latest videos, such as this one. And please leave a comment down below, because I really do re love reading those comments. Um, okay, so this might seem like an unusual review for this time of year, but I mean, it has some gift-giving in it, so... Or at least the intention of that anyway. So I thought, why not? And I recently read it anyway. It's part of my November reads. Um, so we're going to dive in. Um, this is a review of my very first Richard Matheson story. And it is called Prey. It was published in 1969. And I read it actually in my copy of I Am Legend. Which does... Con well, here uh, here's the cover. Which has the Will Smith... Uh, uh, adaptation on the cover, which the, the lighting's being a little tricky. Sorry. Um, but it does contain several other stories in it. Um, but this is the only one, this is my only thing I've read by Richard Matheson, though I do plan reading I'm Legend, hopefully in the near future. So this is an interesting little story. It's about a woman named Amelia, who she's recently moved out from her uh, mother's house and she's been seeing this man. I think he's a professor of some kind and um, she's bought him a birthday gift. It's a Zuni warrior fetish doll. It's like a six inch figure and it has a chain on it and it has a, like I said a little scroll and it talks about the doll and says that it has the spirit of a Zuni warrior trapped inside it, and if the chain is removed, uh, it will uh, come to life. So the chain is keeping it at bay, and it's referred to as he who kills. Well, Amelia breaks some plans with her mother, um, which we kind of get the sense that her mother is kind of ruling her life, especially with the conversation between her and the man that she's seen over the phone. Really, the only characters that we really see are Amelia, and we hear, well, hear, um, her talking to her mother, and her talking to this man whose name escapes me, and that's pretty much it. Well, the chain falls off the doll, and I'm gonna leave it at that. Things get crazy. <laughs> Uh, this was not my first exposure to this story. Um, I'd actually first encountered this story in um, a little television film from the 70s, actually. Uh, of course, I wasn't alive back then to see it when it was on TV, but I saw it later on uh, DVD. Uh, called Trilogy of Terror. Actually, I saw Trilogy of Terror 2 first, and then I saw Trilogy of Terror, the, the original. Both kind of had kind of adaptations of the story, but um, the original one, it's called just Amelia, and it's not called Prey, and Karen Black plays in it. She play, uh, it's an anthology film, and it has three stories. She's the star in each one. Um, she plays Amelia, and it's a pretty good adaptation. I actually recently rewatched it because they had just that segment. It's the third segment, by the way on YouTube, and for the most part, it's pretty faithful. It, I feel like in some ways it's a little more tense, and um, there's a, a there's some differences, and uh, there's a little extra going on, but not much. Uh, I feel like the, the story is bloodier, because there, there's a lot of blood in the story, actually. Um, and it's not a very long story, it's pretty short. And then there was a uh, another kind of telling. It was kind of a sequel to it, but it, it follows kind of the same thing, just sets in a lo new location with new characters. And uh, in Trilogy of Terror 2, where it's the aftermath and some other people... Uh, well, I guess I can't really talk about it without giving things away. Anyway, it's kind of about the, the, the third story in that movie. Um, it's kind of the aftermath. That's all I can really say. What did I rate this story? Uh, I think I rated it four stars because I definitely very much enjoyed it. Um, and it made me want to go back and watch the uh, 
the original segment that was based on it, and it was a lot of fun. The movie Trilogy of Terror is definitely worth seeing. It has three stories. I think the script is written by Richard Matheson. I don't know if all the stories are, and it was, uh, I think it was directed by Dan Curtis, the one who was the creator of Dark Shadows, and, um, at least I think he directed it. Maybe he was just the producer. Um, and I think the second one was kind of another one of those things. It came out in the 90s, the second movie. So, anyway. That's my review. Kind of a, a little short one. I have at least uh, another review coming up before my anniversary video, which is coming up on December 24. Uh, I'll be celebrating three years here in BookTube, and I will be doing, actually, um, my usual thing that I do with that anniversary video, but I'll also be doing something a little extra. So yeah, um, hope everybody's having a spooky holiday season. I hope everybody's staying warm or cool, whichever, wherever you're at, and uh, staying safe, and I'll see you all next time.